Just days after the Archdiocese of Indianapolis separated itself from the Buff Jesuit, people gathered to show their support to that teacher and a counselor who lost her job because of her same-sex marriage. The rally for equality was scheduled several weeks ago for Shelley Fitzgerald, a former Roncalli counselor. But as our Alan Carter shows us, it took on new meaning after the Archdiocese decision this week. You have a whole life ahead of you. The rally was planned far in advance, but the timing could not be more relevant. Y'all ready for some positive energy? All right. Dozens of people standing for equality and standing outside the Archdiocese of Indiana. Symbolism, yes, but they're truly hoping someone there is listening. And I am here today, we all are here today, to show our church and our community that our passion is unbeatable. The advocacy largely led by Ron Colley High School students. But it's coming from my heart. So. Who started Shelley's voice after their guidance counselor was fired when the school learned of her same-sex marriage. When a group of people are made to feel that they cannot be a part of that community and made to feel like God's love for them is less, let me tell you, it is my experience that it's a similar feeling one has to being disowned by their own family. It still hurts, but today she says she's encouraged as another Catholic school this week faced with the same decision, sided with their employee. To my brothers and sisters in the Burbuff Jesuit community, thank you. Thank you for being a perfect example of what God's message is to us. It cost Burbuff their archdiocese affiliation, but supporters here wanting a day where there isn't a division between faith and sexuality. We're members of our church. We're proud to be Catholic. We're proud to be members of the LGBT community. And we think it's important to support one another out here. In Indianapolis, Alan Carter, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Now, the Archdiocese has not backed off its decision. They say they have an obligation to protect the ministry and that staff must support the church's teachings in their personal and private lives.